friends and welcome back to Endless Craft Abilities. If you are new here, we encourage you to go to our welcome video. And for anybody that's our return subscribers, hey! Uh, welcome back guys. Uh, thank you for returning to do some crafts with us, our young king and queens. We are happy to have you guys back here with us. So today we are going to be celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day, something I'm proud and very happy to celebrate as he is a man that has changed all of our lives. So what I'll be doing is there's going to be a video at the end where I'm reading you guys a book that I've read to my children, and that book is Martin Luther King Jr., and it's written by Marianne Diane Bauer, okay? Um, you two separate crafts. They're going to be two separate videos. I'll link them at the end of this video so that you can click on them to see them. Our first craft is, and I'm really excited about this one. I'll get it close so you guys can see it. It's an interactive craft, and it says, because he marched, we can. So it's Martin Luther King marching, marching on our behalf. So I'm really excited about that because I think that it's super cool. Um, and then our next one is, it's kind of like a card. Um, and you can use it. You can give it to your hero. You can give it to a friend um, that's of a different shade. And just remind them that with love, you guys can continue to make a difference in the world. Um, and so it says... All we need is love, and it's a peach hand and a brown hand, and they're holding a heart, they're holding love, to change the world. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and so that's us celebrating the earth and what he did to make changes for us uh, and bring us all back together. So before we jump into our craft, we are going to say what? What? I, what? I, I, what? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I say it. I thought you were talking to them. You like talk to them and then you say it. I'm sorry. I, okay, I'll say it. Hi. <laughs> okay, guys. So before we jump into our craft, we're going to say our what? Our words of affirmation. Right. We are going to say our great words. So you guys can say them along with us, my young king and queens, those people out there of great value that are going to shine super bright one day. They're going to light up this entire world. Okay. Let's go. All right. So. I am kind, I am important, I am smart, I am brave, I am loved, and I am amazing. She is amazing. She's super amazing. Super amazing. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so for our all we need is love card, all you need is a piece of white paper from our sketch pad from the Dollar Tree or some printer paper. Some cut up red, blue, and green construction paper. Some scissors, paste. Mm, I did have to go away from the Dollar Tree for one moment because they did not have brown paper. So I went to Dollar General where it's not just the dollar. Okay, so yes, you're probably gonna have to go to somewhere else that's not Dollar Tree where everything's just $1 to get some brown construction paper. Or you can completely do this task without the peach or the brown color hands, okay? But this is what it looks like. I think it was like $3, so, but it's got lots, it's got um, over 100 sheets in here, so that's more than worth it, okay? So those are the sheets that we're gonna use, and you guys are probably wondering why I'm not saying black and white, why I'm saying brown and peach. Well, when May was little, she taught me she was so confused by me saying black and white, and she said, Mommy, why are you calling us that? She said, I'm not black. My skin is brown. And then she had a friend, and she said, she's not white. She's peach. And she actually took paper and a crayon and was like, see, it's different. And so ever since then, I've used peach and brown because May taught me that. So you'll hear me say that throughout the videos. Okay guys, so for our All We Need Is Love card, what we're going to be doing is taking our brown paper and we're gonna trace our hand. You start tracing your hand. Right underneath, 
and then bring it together. See, hand traced. What I'm gonna do instead of tracing my hand on my tan paper to save time, I'm going to put my brown paper with my traced hand on top of my tan paper with my, out the traced hand, and then I'm gonna cut it together. And you're just going to weave in between those fingers all the way down and then up and around all the way down. Again, weave in between your fingers up and around and all the way down. And we're going to get keep doing that until we get to our last and final finger. Keep very good looks at your lines. You don't want to end up with <laughs> cutting off a finger or something, okay? So, you see how I cut my finger there? So, I got to get a close eye to my lines here. So, all the way around, around my palm, the palm of my hand, and then voila. Scissor safety, I'm gonna put my scissors back and put my, my scraps to the side. Now I have two hands. Now it's gonna seem like I have two left hands, but <whistles> voila, now I don't, okay? I have a right and a left hand. How you doing, May? I'm good, just gotta cut my pinky. Don't cut your pinky off. I, I almost cut one of my fingers off here. Not our real fingers, guys. These digits are still intact. We're talking about our paper hands. Got it? Yeah. Okay. While May is still cutting her hands, what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I do the heart. So I'm gonna take my cut up piece of paper. Now guys, this was an eight by 11 sheet of paper. All I did was fold in half and then fold in half again and then cut it. So that's how I get this scrap. I like to do that with our cutting crafts to make sure that we don't waste paper and we can use all four of those separate papers again. So I'm gonna take my red paper, I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm just gonna take any one of my hands, I'm going to, on the creased side, not the open side, on the creased side, put my thumb and my index finger on the, the paper. See that? Mm -hmm. So your creased part from your open part, you're going to sit it down and then you're going to take your thumb and your index finger and line it up along the crease. Yep, there you go. Line it up. You want it to touch. There you go. Now, what you can do is you can trace the heart that your fingers made. Okay? That's just gonna give you a general idea of the shape that you're gonna need to cut out. So now we're gonna start cutting that. So you see how it's kind of wobbly? That's because that's the shape of my thumb. I've got a knuckle here, but I'm going to still make it a actual heart shape. I'm gonna still cut past what I traced and make a good heart, okay? So now I've got a heart, scraps, to the side and so what this is going to allow me to do is voila two hands holding a heart nice job me thank you there we go Woo! all right so on to our card okay so what i did is i took my white paper, while it's laying horizontal, right, this is vertical, but then this is horizontal, so long ways. I, I picked up both ends of it and I met them together. So meet your paper together and push your hands down and then you're gonna crease it. So now you've got the opening part of your card, okay? So 
when we open it up, it's just like this. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna work on our earth. See, our earth that was inside our card, we're gonna work on that. So I like to trace. I'm not very good as I told you in my last video on making perfect circles. So I'm going to use this to trace and then I'll pass it and share it with May so that she can also trace. There we go. Here you are, May. And just like I did with my tan and my brown hands so that it can save me some time and tracing at first, I'm gonna put my blue, which is already traced, onto my green, which is not traced. And I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna follow along my line here. There we are. See, now two circles. Craft, we need scraps again to the side. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to start drawing the land part of your earth. So I'll give you guys an example by opening up my sheets here, my card, there. Now, I will tell you, I am not, am not, an earth artist. <laughs> I cannot uh, draw the continents very well, but I'm very proud of what I did. Um, and so same for you. Yours may not look exactly like me and May's, but if it's the way that you did it, artist, then it's exactly the way that it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little line like I did here. So I'm going to out and then over and then in just like a little squiggly line, right? I'm gonna make another squiggly line. And again, if it does not look like mine or May's, you don't have to erase it. You do not need to say, oh, I can't do it. What do we say, guys? What do we say here? We say, because I'm the artist, instead of saying can't, I can say, I can change my plan or begin again, right? So if it does not look just like me and May's, change your plan. And if you get to the place where you really, really, really are not happy with it as an artist, begin again, okay? So now that I've got my squiggly lines there, I'm going to, I'm going to try to make some more consonants. So I'm just gonna make this, here you see, I'm just doing, and you can do it however you want, May. I'm just gonna do that. Then I'm gonna take that line from there and do like this. And I'm like doing that. A squiggly line. Yes, do <laughs> several squiggly lines. Now that we've got that, we are going to cut it. Cut along all the squiggly lines that you made. Voila. And what this is going to allow us to do is place them here. Now you'll see that I often, whenever I trace, I flip it to the other side so I have a clean sheet of paper that does not have the, that does not have the um, tracing on it. There we go. Now, I'm gonna cut this one. And one thing I did as I was cutting before, when I was making the initial one for you guys, is I did this snake kind of thing. I kept moving it back and forth, you see, moving it back and forth as I cut to kind of make it a little, little, a tiny, tiny bit realistic. And so here we are with that. I'm going to actually do it again on this end. Little wiggly, 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 wiggly. And <laughs> voila. <laughs> and... Guys, I'm laughing because this is not perfect, but it is fun for me. And as the artist, you know what I said? This is a good consonant. So I am going to stick with it. And here, there we go. Those are my consonants. Happy with it. I hope you guys are also at home happy with yours as well. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paste this on. Now, as I showed before in one of my other videos, I enjoy not having to clean up 
a big mess after we do art. Now, remember, there's going to be a little bit of a mess. I mean, it's not very much fun if you don't. So, I like to take scrap pieces of paper and paste on. That way, I don't get any icky, sticky stuff on the table. There we are. Pasted. Gonna do my other side. How's it going over in your world, Nene? Okay. <laughs> you like my mom joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, and so I'm gonna do the same here, my other continent. Whoa. Lots of paste? Yeah. Oh, how about, there we go, I'm gonna do it like that. Another consonant, and I'm gonna actually have it go like this. I like that. There we go. We'll get our card again. And when you're all set, mate, all you're gonna do is start pasting your earth on your card. Got my earth pasted and gonna place it. Place it on our card. And while Mace is working on that, I'm gonna start writing my words. And you can write whatever you want to, okay? I'm writing to change the world. That's because I put on the outside, all we need is love to change the world. And then I wrote Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay? So, Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm gonna make an exclamation mark with a heart at the bottom. Exclamation mark means excited. When you see that in books, guys, and you are reading, that's where you use all of your energy, okay? Because that's what that punctuation means. Okay, so that part on the inside is all done. Benito. Also, for anybody that's wondering, no, I do not actually in real life know other languages. I don't. I just like saying some things that, <laughs> that I've heard or that I learned from the several years that I took in Spanish that unfortunately I did not recall. You good? Yep. Now I'm just kind of. So we're gonna. If you take a look at your card, Sky, you'll see that your your peach thumb goes on the inside, and then your peach index finger goes the outside. That's how your card kind of stays shut and it folds open, and they kind of they're holding hands. You see that? One thumb over the other, holding hands. Got it? So, now remember, you can have hands either way. Does not matter one way or the other. But whatever hand is going to hold the heart should go on first. So, what's very important is that when you're pasting your heart, don't paste it on your white paper because you're going to glue your card shut. So, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the crease of my thumb here and my index finger, you see? This? It depends on how you're having your hands. Are your hands going like this? Yeah. Okay, and is your heart going on your hand? Your brown hand, your peach hand? Brown. Okay, so yep, just like that. So you're gonna paste it there. And you see how I told you I like to flip it on the other side? That is my trace side of my heart and this is my clean side. So I'm gonna put it here. And I'm just gonna wipe away my extra paste. See that? Wiping it away. Right. Yep, right in between your crease there. Yep, perfect. Just like that. Now, Can I wipe it away? Uh, just with my finger. Got it? Yep. Cool beans. All right, now, because this is gonna be the one that's going on first, you're gonna get an idea of where you're gonna paste, okay? Again, 
you want to leave some of your hand without paste. So I like to just do the palm of my hand. So I'm going to paste, 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 and I would do slightly above where your heart is and closer down to your index finger like this, you see? Yep, so that's what I would do. Then we're going to paste it on. Now we won't do it like this. We're gonna do it tilted so that way they can cross over. Yep, you're right. Cross over so that they can hold hands, okay? So push that down. And so look at that, see, voila, here we go. Now, with your peach hand, you can lay it down so you can get an idea of where it's gonna go and how it's gonna do it, okay? There we go. Yeah, there we go. So now you put paste on your peach hand. And get an idea of where it's gonna be placed, and then push down. This one kind of folds in a lot more than the other one. Thumb back, brown thumb back. That's fine. Holding some, holding. holding some hands. There we go. There. Holding some hands, okay? Really cute. Yeah, I like it. Now, all done with our paste, all done with our scissors, scissor safety, we write our words. So we say, all we need. Uh-oh, you see how I made a mistake? Gonna change my plan. That was gonna be an E that looked like that. Now it's gonna be a close together E. Voila. There we go. Is, you wanna use red? Yeah. And then I'm gonna write love in black. Some L-O-V-E. Gonna write right over that again. Our black marker is dying. It's running out of ink. So here we go, guys. Voila. Oh no. I put a W. Right hand is kind of make Or you can make a really big heart up there. Wait, so then how would I put the home? Yeah. Some then extra can, love on your card. Then I can just put hearts everywhere. That's right. See, instead of thinking that her card got ruined, May said, I can change my plan. So she made an, uh, a boo-boo on writing out her words. And so she's fixing it by now she's going to draw hearts all the way around her card. So here we go, guys. Finished product. All we need is love to change the world. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Thank you, friends, for doing that craft with us. That was so much fun. We had fun. We hope you guys had fun, too. And again, all we need is love. To change the world. Right. So, you young queens, you young kings out there, remember that you are valuable. And remember that you can do anything you put your mind to, any dreams that you have, just like Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. We're going to celebrate him. Again, if you enjoy our video, if you enjoy following along, doing the crafts with us, Please subscribe so that you're able to, I don't even know if it's there, May. No. <laughs> uh, please subscribe so that you will be, you know, connected to us and are quickly able to find our channel. Um, click the notification button so you can get a ping whenever we upload a video and that's going to be weekly. And then like our videos. Thank you. Bye. Bye.